And in light of this, we are probably going to and, and uh, attempt to not help facilitate the spread of this disease, we're gonna shut down ourselves. We're not closing the business down, we're not shutting the doors permanently, we're just gonna weather this out and see what happens. Um, anything, any, like, uh, to my understanding, they are expediting the process of any unemployment that gets strong, and there's even bills in the works that have not passed yet that are sitting, waiting, trying to get passed, where they're gonna try to provide some kind of extra compensation as far as, like, small businesses and all businesses. As soon as that comes in, we'll do anything we can to participate in whatever they're trying to do. <laughs> Um, in the meantime, uh, go file for unemployment. We'll completely back it. They've expedited the process, so it should be a lot easier than uh, it would normally take two or three weeks. I don't think it's supposed to take that at this point. Um, but it's not due to anything we've done wrong. A lot of our clients have just decided to put on hold all the projects for now in, the, in honor of our safety and, and just continuing to, to be able to do business past this. Um, but beyond that, like, I don't like we've done a pretty good job of staying afloat like I don't know if you I'm sure some of you guys know that like a lot of the other shops have already shut down Freeman shut GES is shutting like there's a lot of stuff that's already went and we're pretty much just trying to follow suit in order to not be monsters and <laughs> drive you guys into the ground during a bad time but that's pretty much it Adam you have anything you would like to add I think that really covered it all we're doing this not only for safety but also so hopes that we have a place to come back to um, I really, there's so much uncertainty right now in the market. Uh, there's not a single event that I'm aware of that is happening until June. And I believe most June shows are in danger in the next week or two of canceling. So um, I do want to make sure that we have everybody's email and phone numbers. Yes, I It's not related to anybody's performance here. Everyone's been awesome. And as a company, we've been, you know, it's just a shame that we were, we were really hitting our stride and had more work than we um, but then literally every client has put us on hold. And, uh, you know, uh, if anyone needs anything outside of work, a reference or anything, too, happy to do that. But I'm still remaining optimistic that uh, we'll be reaching out to each and every one of you shortly to be back, bring back in when we're operational again. And, so when you guys just start having uh, those and call back in? Do I said when it gets time to start cracking bay, are we going to get called back? Or is it's just... Yeah, that's what it's yeah, yeah, this, is, this is a what, temporary... What, what, what is realistic terms for us being called back? Roughly, I mean, you can't, it's all up in the air right now, but just a rough... The world may change tomorrow, but uh, they're calling for school to be out until about mid-April. Um, What's our last day today? Or, uh, no, they didn't go, uh, go today. Honestly, no, yeah. school is closed in Nevada. No, I'm saying us. I don't care about uh, school. Today's the last day. After, after we clock out today, that'll be it until further notice. How do I get my so paychecks? No, <laughs> paychecks. Manage everyone's expectations properly. Uh, you know, the, the short answer is we don't know. The educated guess is that right now that shows may resume in July. If shows were to hypothetically be scheduled and were going to happen, say, July, we would be needing to have people come in or we couldn't keep up. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's basically like a month, like everybody else right now. We need more than that. We'll be one of the first ones back on board once it cuts. At a minimum, no one's going to be in the shop for about a month, maybe two. Um, but we need everyone's numbers because we do have things that may come up. I still need to get out of this building. James may contact some of you to help with kitchen to get freight out of this building into the new building when that, when that permit is. And it's, if you guys don't want to participate in that because you don't feel comfortable working in an environment because everything's going off, it's at will. We're not going to force you, and it will not be held against you. If you cannot participate during that, say you have I'm a in. Pay, I'm, I'm in. Pay. Um, as far as paychecks, as you asked earlier, um, we're going to start overnighting paychecks. And Wednesday, we say, hold on one second. Sorry, Wednesday, we're going to have everybody show up from 2 to 4. We're going to get the paychecks overnighted. That way, we're going to to try to alleviate on our end as much as possible to help them. Yeah, because I, I haven't gotten the last paycheck yet because I get a physical check. Okay, yeah, we'll be overnighting checks. We'll be clearing, cleaning, like anything that you're owed past will be coming by Wednesday. So that's Wednesday? Assuming that it is, that is assuming that it is possible to get them overnighted. Right now, as far as I know, FedEx <coughs> can't speak for them in a couple days or a week or whatever, but we're gonna we're putting it in today to try to get it overnighted. 
Huh? All right. Are we finishing out the day? Or are we? Yeah, we're going to finish out the day. Okay. Marks at church. Towards the very end of the day, we're going to try to do some batten down the hatches. Uh, we'll make sure any refrigerators are cleaned out, trash is taken, stuff like that, so we don't come back to a we're, pigsty. Okay. So we do so we're taking our tools out. We're taking everything. You got personal us. tools? Grab them. Uh, and not like get your shit out. Like, hey, you might need them. <laughs> and I'm not going to come unlock the building just for you. Gotcha. So, yeah, I'll, if you got any personal tools, feel free to clean them out. Um, I'll be staying after today because I have to uh, do something with a new building with the vacuuming of Rahmanov anyways. That's still scheduled at 4 o'clock today, so I'll be here late tonight. All right. Any other questions or concerns? A million, but I uh, everybody should get a hug. <laughs> but you got to do it from a distance. From a distance. Yeah, do it from You're staying yeah, away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Six feet away. Hey, look. I'm okay with playing with Mark. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm okay. Good All right. Well, it's Mark's yeah, fault. Cool. Sorry, that's very depressing, guys, but we're going to weather this and we're going to come through. Yep. Yeah. All right. Hey, how are they doing back there? Adam, how are you guys doing back there? I'm on lockdown over here. Well, we figured. I went to go see a buddy yesterday. The only reason he let me come yeah. to his house is because I had this rubbing alcohol. Life of the state. <laughs> no joke. He's like, I'm shut down. I'm not. It was my gate's locked. <laughs> Hi, man. I was out in the woods. Everyone's getting guns and hunkering down. So. Texas is loving this. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. All right, kid. Thank you. All right, thank you guys. <laughs>